I think overall it's super exciting. I know a lot of people are not super into Evangelion. They feel like it's lazy because there's a lot of, like they collab with a lot of different gacha games. Uh, I think other people are not happy because they, it's not going to be like super fan servicey. Uh, so they would have preferred something else. But I think every single collab is just a good moment. It's a good time to celebrate a different IP and just to have fun. Uh, I think you sh just don't think too much about it. Just enjoy yourselves. If you don't like it, hopefully the next one is going to be for you. Otherwise, just enjoy the free rewards. I mean, heck. Subscribe, please. All right. Hello. Welcome to another YouTube video. Today, I just wanted to quickly go over everything that's going to be new in the next version that's coming out in uh, a few hours, a bit less than 24 hours, I do believe. Although with the maintenance, it might take a bit of time, depending on your time zone, all the good good. So yeah, anyway, we have the system notice regarding the updates of August 22nd with obviously the big, 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 big collab. Um, so there is a lot of things and I kind of want to quickly go over every new thing, new features, changes, and all of that, because there is a lot going on. So first and foremost, Ayn and Zai are going to be added to the Orden Recruit, which means you'll be able to put them in your wish list. So um, I would assume that most people probably skip those two because, you know, collab, anniversary, all of that. You want to make sure that you have all the resources that you want. So you've been rewarded for your patience. You will now be able to wishlist them and get them eventually. I think Ayn is actually very, very strong and she's probably the most worth it of the two. Um, she's a very good DPS. Uh, she, she is like a permanent unit that's as good as like a pilgrim uh, or like all of the hard hitting pilgrims. So I think it's um, a very good addition to your roster if you want to go for her. Now, for the major updates, as we know, we have the new characters coming in with the collaboration, obviously. So the first of them is Asuka. She's an SSR. The Pirates of Evangelion Unit, Evangelion, Evangelion Unit 2, joins limited time recruitment. Asuka is an attacker who provides attack support for all fire code allies and herself. When a burst skill is in use, her damage as strong element multiplies, giving her a greater advantage over wind code enemies. That's very interesting. Um, this tells me that this is, she's probably gonna be very strong for bossing purposes, right? Uh, there's some pretty good fire code units, uh, but with a kit like this, it, it makes me think that she might work very well. One of the other units we'll see uh, lower, because like an attacker that has a support ability, considering we're getting like three SSR character, I feel like she's probably going to be working with another one of them. Uh, I'm betting there's going to be at least another unit. It's going to be a fire code, right? So what I really, really like about this kit is that in most cases, uh, DPS characters tend to fall off earlier uh, because they're always going to be power crept, right? What is very nice here is that she has the ability to buff the rest of her team, the, the rest of her fire code allies, right? Which means that even if her DPS is not top tier or gets power craft in the future, she still has the possibility to function as a kind of support, I suppose. So that's pretty useful. Um, now we can see she's obviously, uh, she is a assault rifle, code fire, abnormal as we know. And importantly, she will be available at the end of the maintenance, which means she is going to be there right away. Now, uh, they just talk about, uh, you know, the, the percentage chance of getting them, etc, etc. Moving on. Oh, obviously, it's a collab. Get them now or you will never get them. We haven't had a rerun for any collaboration so far. And I wouldn't want, I wouldn't say just don't skip them. Just get yourself one copy, unless you really don't like them, but don't expect them to rerun anytime soon or ever. Next, we have SSR Ray. The pilot of Evangelion Unit 0 during limit time recruitment is an attacker who increases her damage as strong elements and support the attack of fire code allies. When the burst skill is in use, she protects the squad with a shield and launches powerful attack at all enemies. 
and she is an MG. So she's fire, abnormal, blah blah blah. What I found very very interesting here is that she's also an attacker fire. So we have Asuka and Rei both capable of boosting other fire code allies so they can buff each other. Is that like a duo? Are they literally a duo? But she seems to be able to protect the squad. But she's an attacker. Is she like a B2 attacker? I'm not too sure what's going on here. Um, do they say here? I don't think they do. I need to know. I think tonight is gonna be... Tonight, I don't know. They, they, have, they haven't posted their skills yet. So it might be coming up in the upcoming hours. I'll do another video about that um, as we get more information. So I'll let you know very soon. Uh, but yeah, very interesting here. Um, yeah, I don't think we've had a collab so far with characters that... Um, with dual characters, essentially. But I mean, since we have four characters here, that might be why. Now, the other important thing here is that she will be available on the 29th of August, which means two weeks after the beginning of the event. So you'll have to wait a week if you want to get Rey. Uh, and, oh yeah, just before I forget, how long... Okay, so Asuka is going to be available until September 19th, which is about, about three weeks, I think. A bit more, three weeks and a half, four weeks. And here, Rey is also available until September 19th. So I assume that they will be available until the end of the event. So you have four weeks to pull for Asuka, three weeks to pull for Rei. Um, so we obviously have confirmation that this is a four weeks event, which is massive. It also means we're probably going to get some extra pulls for free for the daily logins, etc. Very cool stuff. Finally, we have SSR Mari. Uh, the mysterious Evangelion pilot joins limited time recruitment. Mari is a supporter who periodically gains pierce and provides attack support to the entire squad. When her burst skill is in use, she deals damage to all enemies and ends the attack of allies with Pierce. She has a supporter, she has a sniper rifle, code electric. She doesn't seem to fit with the other two, but uh, she fits with other Pierce units, which are mostly snipers. Uh, we had Zvi that enters in this category, which also buff, but, sorry, buffs. Uh, Pierce damage, um, so maybe she might make Spy a bit more revel relevant. I, I guess we'll see. I wonder if this is a new kind of meta they're trying to push forward, like a, make a, a strong Pierce team. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. So she will be available from September 5th to September 19th. So she's the last one that will be available from the limited time recruitment banners, and she'll only be available for two weeks. So gotta keep that in mind, right? Now moving on. Uh, SR Misato was part of the operation department of the special ed agency Nerve joins the battlefield. Misato is a supporter who periodically recovers HP of the ally with the lowest HP. Good healing. A burst skill continuously recovers all HPs, all allies' HP, and improves squad stability. I don't know what squad stability means. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I don't know what this means. Uh, I, I, I don't know what stability is. Uh, but uh, maybe it's just a, a fancy term they put there. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, I'm, I actually have no idea. Uh, maybe I'm just not deep into the mechanics of the game, so I don't know what this means. But uh, yeah, this confuses me a little bit. Um, so she seems to be just a, a full-on dedicated healer. Um, and that kind of gives me hope that maybe Mizato is going to be decent. Because at the very least, like... If she's not an attacker unit, if she's just like a support and can heal, she might have some use cases, right? Um, so I think that could be really cool. I I'm I'm full of copium that she's gonna be good because uh, I really like uh, Misato. Anyway, she uses a pistol that is an SMG. She's code iron, abnormal, blah blah blah, and you can actually obtain her from the EVA co EVA collab event. You can not evade. You can check the new events information below to find out how, blah, blah, blah. And you will be able to get her from August 22 until the end of the events. Um, so there we go. Good stuff. Temporary participating characters. So you'll be able to um, try them out. Uh, new costume. So we have a bunch of new costume. Way too many costume. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but we have a lot of them. We have... Special costume, Asuka, test plug suit. Test plug suit appears in Evangelion 2.0, you cannot advance. 
Um, so this one is a gacha costume, so that's 60 bucks. We have a special costume, Asuka Single Street, a single girl's summer. You can get this one in a um, summer pass, so this is 20 bucks. Asuka's cool uniform, a single girl's school life. Um, Middle requirement for the challenge mission, so this one is free. So we have gacha, mission pass, free. Ray, peaceful vacation, attack return, girl's summer. Uh, can be obtained from pilot in summer ray pass, so not a pass. Special custom ray, ray school uniform. Um, Middle corn for challenge mission, so this one is free. Then we have Mary Leisure Travel, a mysterious girl summer. Can be obtained from a summer pass. And then we have Mary School Uniform that is free again. And finally, we have a special costume, Leona Zookeeper. Zookeeper's arm with loves and cuteness. Leona Zookeeper can be obtained from September Mission Pass. So that's kind of crazy because here we have one mission pass, two mission pass, three mission pass, four mission pass for a total of 80 bucks plus the gacha. So if you actually want to get all of those skin, that is going to come at a cost of $140 or euros or whatever currency you're using, which is a lot. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I've seen the, the skin on, on Twitter. I'm not really going to cover it. Um, everybody can check it. It's going to be coming out, coming out soon. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the gacha, uh, of the gacha skin. It, it, it's too similar to our normal skin, to be honest. So I don't feel like I need to get it uh, or want to get it. So I think it's a bit, it's very expensive. But I mean, you, you do get full voiceover, so additional line. Um, new standing pose, special SD model, you get the new birth skill animation, but the, all of this is not super worth it to me. That said, I really actually like the cynical street skin for her. She has like street wear. I think that's very cool looking. Um, the skin, peaceful vacation for Ray. It's kind of okay. I'm not too sure how worth it's going to be. It's one of those, like, if I feel like I need more pool resources, I might just get it because that way I get pet pools. Or, you know, whatever. We'll see. Um, I think they give you limited pools, right? I hope so. And then we have Mary Leisure Travel. Um, I think it's the one with the, the, the summer hat. Uh, I think it looks okay. I, I'll see. I'm not too sure about Mary. Uh, it's not my favorite character. Leona now. We haven't seen her costume. And I love Leona. I think she's adorable. So I'll, I'll see, depending how good it looks. Now, moving on, we have the new event. So obviously, we have the crossover events. You cannot evade, that's going to be lasting for four weeks. The D-Wave has occurred once again, this time it's on the surface right above the Ark. The massive object emitting D-Wave fires huge light beams at the Ark. The Ark mobilizes all its forces to fight back, but... Dot, dot, dot. Explore the You Cannot Evade map and participate in various events to get the SR Misato. By searching the map, you can acquire gems, different materials, and unexpected lost relics. So, the item exchange in Event Shop will end on September 1st. No, 19th, sorry. It was cut in a weird pace. I was very confused that it was, like, stopped so early compared to the rest, but uh, that was just, like, a weird to the line, I suppose. So, um, the massive object, I mean, we've seen Ramiel, so I wonder if this is, we're actually going to get, like, a special boss. That would be really awesome to get, like, a collab boss. Uh, but I guess we'll figure it out. Now we have the story, even part one, which will be available right away. And story part two is going to be available on August 29th. So we take a week before we are able to see the second part of the story. And we actually have a third part of the story, which will start a week later after the part two. So basically, we'll have to wait one week to unlock the next part of the story. Uh, and there's only three parts, right? Uh, then we have the challenge stage, the co-op mode. Um, the collaboration minigame Battle Simulator. Come experience the Battle Simulator crafted for those from an unknown world. Play the minigames to earn trade points that can be used to enhance the traits. Ooh. Okay, looking forward to this. I've actually really, really liked minigames um, so far. So I'm looking forward to, to more cool ones like that. Uh, now we have the daily events, Memories of Nerve that can unlock you um, Misato, some recruit vouchers and all the good good. The Alice Diary event, a new day-by-day -day event is coming soon. Complete all day one missions to get SSR Alice and complete all missions to obtain development materials. 
we are getting an Alice for free. That's actually really, really cool. On top of that, we also have the full birthday on the weekends. That's very nice to see. I, 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 you know what? I, I just want to see what my Alice... I, I do have Alice. For those who don't have Alice, obviously that's going to be absolutely fantastic. She's a very good character. Um, she's one of those characters that is way better if you play her manually. Unfortunately, for people that are lazy, just like me. Uh, I actually don't have any copies, so I mean, I'll take a copy of her. I'm happy with that. That's good for me. Alright, moving on, because we have way more information. And it was so big, we have a part two. We're gonna get Soul Raid, Union Raid, and finally, the Overclock mode is coming out. This is the first season of it. You can set additional options and challenge new environments with higher difficulties. You can obtain skill manuals and burst manuals once you when you clear Overclock mode for the first time based on the high score ratio. So this is very cool. This has been a, a work in progress for a while now. We've had some better t periods and uh, I think it's nice. We finally have a new way to get some skill materials that we so, so, so need. <laughs> I don't have better words. I'm sorry. It's just good stuff. Um, so the thing is that it is an event that will be lasting from August 27th to November 19th, which is a pretty long time. Um, it's like two months? September, October, it's three months. That's, that's a long time. Okay, very interesting. Um, and uh, the reward refreshes two weeks. So essentially you can get... Since we have three months, you can essentially get the reward six times, which is pretty good. Then we're getting the Arena Reshuffle. Rookie Arena and Spear Arena Group will undergo periodical reshuffle. So the reshuffle will be on September 4th for the Rookie Arena, and September 11th for the SP Arena. Um, okay. New gameplay. Ah, added manufacturer equipment combinator. <gasps> oh my god, we're finally getting something so we can actually deal with our excess um what's it called again abnormal gear although right now obviously we have an event we have a collab so that's going to be useful but in the future because sometimes you know we have to wait six months for another collab so it's good that we have a way to get rid of the stuff we really don't need added a combination system that consumes manufacturer equipment to obtain the manufacturer equipment of your choice Collect a certain number of the, it the new item, Manufacturer Arms Furnace, to unlock the Combinator. Unlock requirement, clear chapter 21st, stage 32. Can be obtained in the arena shop. So you have one more thing that we can spend arena tickets on. That's pretty good because lately I've just been buying like so many of the boxes. I I've like capped everything at like 1500 and I've just been buying the one that gives you like one of your choice every day. Uh, but this is nice that we have something new to actually spend those tickets on. That's very cool. Uh, that's a feature we've been looking forward for a long time. Add a custom lock that can lock equipment modification effect once. Use a certain number of custom locks to lock equipment modification effects once. Options that have been locked with custom lock can be unlocked when you make changes to the effect or reset the value. Anomaly Inception Reward. So we are getting a new kind of reward that can allow you to lock the effect. So I think... Does that mean that you log... Does that mean that you log the percentage of your effect? That way, if you reroll the, 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 the values, the, the one you log stays the same. It might be that. I'm not super sure. We'll have to see in game. You profile cards, an object, you profile decorations. Uh, added Anomaly Interception is an advanced gameplay of Interception EX, providing a greater challenge and more amazing rewards. Clear chapter 22nd, stage 36 to gain access. The number of attempts for Anomaly Interception is shared with that of Interception. There are five bosses in total. All five bosses are available at all times and are not on a rotation basis. Each boss provides different rewards, so you can choose which boss to challenge based on the desired rewards. That is awesome. Similar to the current Deception gameplay, Anomaly Interception is divided into 9 stages. The difficulty and rewards increase based on the stages. Furthermore, the maximum level for the NK is limited to 400, and the research level effects from recycling room is also limited. 
That's very, very interesting. Okay. I, I love the fact that you can choose which boss you want to fight to get specific reward. I think this is a great uh, way to go about it. And I, I hope they keep doing something like this moving forward. New titles, new commodities. Custom gacha, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they don't talk about any kind of... Um, they don't mention any kind of like uh, sale, special sale. So I think it will be full price, to be honest. New character packages, custom packages, weekly packages, discontinued packages, and then a bunch of optimization and uh, miscellaneous updates that we'll have to wait for the updates. So yeah, overall, we are getting a lot of things that is really, really cool. I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm probably going to get at least one copy of everyone. Uh, I'm going to not push more because honestly, I don't have that many resources. I believe I've got like 21k gems. And if I try to recruit here, how many tickets do I have? 20. Yeah, so it's not bad. I, I, I think that gets me 90 pulls, if I count that correctly, which is not terrible. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure that's going to allow me to uh, MLB anyone. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I think overall it's super exciting. I know a lot of people are not super into Evangelion. They feel like it's lazy because there's a lot of, like they collab with a lot of different gacha games. Uh, I think other people are not happy because they, it's not going to be like super fan servicey, uh, so they would have preferred something else. But I think every single collab is just a good moment. It's a good time to celebrate a different IP and just to have fun. Uh, I think you sh just don't think too much about it. Just enjoy yourselves. If you don't like it, hopefully the next one is going to be for you. Otherwise, just enjoy the free rewards. I mean, heck. You're going to get a lot of uh, free pools and stuff like that from the event, lots of resources. And even if you don't like the collaboration, there's still a bunch of new features coming in. So yeah, that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful. You can like, subscribe and comment in uh, the section below if you want to tell me what you're the most excited about. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.